Hi, I'm Russ, owner of Fit to Score, a Dallas Fort Worth Golf Digest Top 100 Club Fitter and Chief Editor of Golf Shaft Reviews. This is the first of what will be many tests of the shafts we review. Mark Manis, today's tester, is a former PGA Tour player and Director of Instruction at the Golden Bear Golf Center in Carrollton, Texas. He has a consistent repeatable swing. I put the head path traces into the flight scope screenshots so you can see just how consistent. These tests were done into a net so we could capture and reuse the ball. Ball to ball variation of 350 RPMs in a box of premium balls has been documented by the flight scope technical staff. We used the same ball on every one of these swings, removing the potential ball variation from the tests. The full review can be seen at www.golfshaftreviews.info. Now, here's Mark describing his swing. So as we review my swing, what you'll notice is that the club head tends to work to the inside at the start of the backswing. This is of no concern to me. It's been my motion for as long as I've been playing. You'll note that at the top of the backswing, the club face is square. The shaft is parallel to the target line. I'm in a good position to swing the club down from. As I swing down, my body doesn't quite rotate through as well as it used to, causing me to have a little flip at the bottom of the swing. You'll see a little bit of an early release, causing the golf ball to go maybe a little bit higher and probably costing me a little bit of club head speed right now. As we look on the right side of the screen, what you'll note is, is that as I take the club back, my head tends to move a little up and to the right. That's been a long-term trend of mine and one of the things that I work against most of the time. When I swing the club down, the flip that you saw at the bottom is even more pronounced from the overhead view. So the first shaft I swung today was a DI-7X Tour AD. Uh, it's a shaft I'm very familiar with. I've been playing this shaft for the last seven, eight months. Uh, it's a good quality shaft. I feel consistency in the shaft, but one of the notes that I have about this shaft is it has a bit of a heavy feel. Um, I would suspect that's because I may not have the club head speed necessary to swing this shaft at this weight. Uh, the tip seems to kick a little bit for me. I seem to get a little higher ball flight than I really want. But the, the real note is it has what I would call a heavy feel. So Tour AD 6X um, obviously feels lighter than the 7X did. Very similar in the way I felt the kick of the shaft. Um, I would suspect that we're going we're to see a little bit higher launch numbers here, maybe a little bit higher spin because I do feel the tip of the shaft kicking a tiny bit more. Uh, probably more because I can't feel the midsection quite as much because of the lack of weight. In the AD7, I feel more the weight of the shaft in the midsection where I don't hear. But those would be the general feelings that I get from this shaft. So as the third shaft, we hit the Tour AD DJ7X. Um, I tell you, feel is similar to the, the uh, DI. However, I had a little more difficulty finding the center of the face with this shaft. I would say it didn't feel quite as heavy as the DI it, it, in the idea that I don't think it's as stiff through the center section of the shaft. Um, similar in the tip section to me. Uh, however, I, uh, you know, if my understanding is correct, we may have had a little tighter dispersion on this. It didn't feel like I was going to have that. As I looked at where I hit it on the face, you know, I'm a little up and down on the golf club here. Uh, swing felt very similar. Swing does not feel like it's changing much, but I had a little more difficulty centering up the golf ball. So this time we tested the DJ6X, Tour AD shaft. Uh, again, the DJ and I don't seem to get along. Uh, I, the shaft feels good to me. This actually felt smooth. Uh, it didn't feel heavy or light. That didn't feel disproportionately wrong to me in any way. Um, the tip didn't feel too weak. The, the net was, I seem to have to work harder to hit the ball in the center of the face with this shaft than I did with the DI. Um, I'll be interested to see how it works with the other shafts that we test, but this shaft in particular is a good example of why custom fitting is so important. Although this shaft feels good to me, I'm struggling a little bit with hitting it in the center of the face. Uh, the shots that were good were real good, but I'm not gonna blame my swing on that. I've made enough swings now that the swing is feeling fairly consistent. So with that, um, this is a shaft I would probably weed out personally 
Not that I would weed it out for somebody else. It does feel very good. So this time we're on the Tour AD BB7X. Uh, the, this, this is a shaft that I really kind of like the feel of, frankly. Um, maybe a little heavy for me, but the results were very telling. I, very much in the center of the face for the first four or five shots I hit. Uh, the last couple I felt like I'd created a little bit of a footprint there and we were going to watch those shots, but the first four or five were excellent. I was really working the center of the face easily with this shaft. Um, obviously there's a different, a different kick to this shaft, a different bend profile. Um, it, it does not want to leave the line that I want it on. Um, Again, I, I'd tell you, as opposed to the DI and the DJ, I'm feeling the tip get just a tiny bit stiffer here. I don't feel the tip wanting to vibrate as much, especially in the off-center hits. Um, and, and so I'm guessing that I'm a little lighter up here, a little softer up here in the midsection and the butt end. Uh, I don't tend to read too much about these shafts before I profile them. I just want to see what they're about, see how they feel, uh, and, and then I'll read about them later. So. It'll be news to me when I find out what I've actually got here. But I like this shaft a fair amount. This, this is pretty good. I'm interested to hit the 6X. The BB6X Tour AD. This is the uh, second of the BB, BB shafts that we've tested, the 7X, which I believe was a little heavy for me overall in its profile, although it felt very good to me. Uh, as I hit it, I noticed that the ball was a little more scattered around the face. As I got to the 6X, all I'm noticing is, is that the ball is centered. Uh, when you get a chance to look at the actual picture here, there's only one mark that's off center, and that mark it was the last ball I hit. I frankly just made a poor swing, uh, fell away from the shot a little bit. So, you know, seeing that, obviously we've got a pretty good fit here as far as the shaft is concerned for me. Uh, it's a smooth feel. Again, I like a little stiffer tip feeling, and I believe that's what this gives me. I don't feel, even in the heel shot that I hit, I didn't feel the vibration in the shaft that I get. Uh, say from the DI. Uh, the DI I feel a little more torquing in the tip of the shaft as I hit it in the as I hit the off-center shots. Um, but this shaft feels very smooth to me and very easy to hit. My preference at this point. Okay so now we're, we're reviewing the the Tour AD GT7X. Uh, again we're in the 78 gram shaft. The uh, the GT and the BB just feel so similar to me. I don't notice a whole lot of difference. I, I did notice something as I've hit all the 70 gram shafts. It seems to me that I have more up and down variance in, in the, uh, the actual ball hitting in the face. Uh, not as much in to out, but more up and down. Uh, with the lighter shafts, I seem to be able to narrow that down a little bit. To me, that's probably a sign from a fitting perspective that I'm swinging a little too heavy a shaft when I swing a 70 gram shaft. Um, I know these are a 70 gram class shaft. Um, so this shaft is, it, it's a nice fit for me. I had no problems hitting it towards the center of the face. I'm just struggling to hit it down, up and down the shaft. Uh, I'm even using a T that goes in the ground the same height every time. So there's nothing about the T height that's varying at this point. Um, so nice shaft, good feel, nice, again, nice firm tip feel in this shaft. And I don't notice, I don't notice the midsection of the shaft much. Um, I think similar to the BBs, I don't notice the midsection of the shaft much. I notice the tip's nice and firm, um, but the midsection of the shaft is smooth. I don't notice it. It's probably the best thing I can say as a player. I don't want to notice a section of the shaft too much. If I notice it too much, then I, I get the feeling that I'm going to react to that portion of the shaft. Don't do that with this. Good quality. I like this shaft. Okay, so we're still testing the graphite design shafts here, and we're into now the Tour AD GT6X. Uh, again, the 68 gram shaft seems to be my better fit. However, I've now hit eight different driver shafts in the last hour and 15 minutes, um, hitting six, eight golf balls apiece. I know that an hour of drivers is about my limit where I start to fatigue a little bit, and I probably saw that a little bit. I had to focus a little more here at the end just to feel the shaft a little bit, and I noticed I noticed that this pattern got just a little broader than I like it to be, although again, I'm still centering it up pretty good. Tendency for me, I get a little tired, I stand up a little bit, so we're going to see it a little on the inside, a little to the inside potentially and a little low. The only thing I see here is a little low, which I like. Uh, so this shaft again is probably a pretty good fit for me. Very, very similar to the BB. 
I, I just don't feel much difference in these two shafts. They perform very similarly for me. I think ball flight wise, as I watch ball flight, the BBs may be a tiny bit tighter dispersion for me, uh, but the GT and the BB are performing darn near exactly the same. Uh, again, good feel in the 6X with my swing speed, which is somewhere in the 101 to 102 range, can be a little higher at times. This is ideal. Uh, this has been a very good fit for me. So today we tested the graphite design series of shafts, starting with the DI, going to the DJ, then to the BB, and then on to the GT. Uh, tested 70 gram shafts first and then 60 gram shafts second in each category. So I went 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, and so on. Um, the feelings I've gotten, uh, pretty simple. Uh, good shaft quality. I, I'm, I'm really comfortable with what I'm feeling in the shafts as I'm hitting them. Uh, it's obvious that the DI is a little softer in the tip to me. Um, I think it's also obvious that the, the DJ is not quite the right fit for me. I didn't have a good feel for exactly what the issue was. That was kind of odd for me. Generally, I can tell you the shaft's too soft in the tip, too stiff in the butt, whatever the case may be. I couldn't tell in that shaft, and it wasn't a proper fit for me. I do tend to load the shaft pretty heavily at the top um, and, and have a fairly late release. So you know, we'll see how that performs to other players, but in my case, that's what I sense. My tendencies, the DI is gonna kick the ball up in the air too much. The BB and the GT seem to have a stiffer tip section. They perform very similarly. I don't see much difference in them. Uh, I, I very much like the six 60 gram shaft category now. I've played 70 gram shafts most of the last 10 years. Uh, those shafts, have performed very well for me. I'm noticing a slight decrease in club head speed right now. Um, at, at times I've been as high as 108 in the last year and a half, um, swinging probably close to 102 or three today. So um, that may be an indication that my swing speeds are lowering again and I need to watch that or else start working out again. Uh, but that makes the 60 gram class much more efficient for me. I think if my swing speed were back up around that 108, the 70 gram shafts would work fine. Again, excellent feel to the shafts and, and I look forward to playing with them.